guys welcome back to my channel i am kadisha also known as paperback passionista and today i'll be going over the two books i read in february so before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me and we just gonna assume that i'm consistent and i post all the time all right cool bet so the first book i read in the month of february is american queen by sierra simone and i let me tell you right now i have been putting this book off four years i think i had the physical copy of this book just sitting around for at least two and a half years and i'm just not getting around to it because i think i was on tiktok yeah tiktok or instagram one of the two and i was just seeing reel after reel video after video of olivia pope and fitzgerald thomas grant the third and i was just like babes i miss that world i miss that universe i miss that man he was my man my man my man and i i was just needing a presidential type of vibe and i was like okay kadisha this is your time you're in that mood go ahead and pick up american queen and i am glad i did i read this on audible if you're an audiobook girly read this on audible now I can, i'll tell you right now the beginning is boring anybody that read it with their eyeballs will tell you the beginning of this book is boring it is a boring but when you get to greer that's the girl's name meeting up now now, now listen i can't remember the other two guys name hey kadisha put it on the screen if i had to break this book down i would pretty much just say Greer met the president back when she was 16. She was underage. She was ducking and dodging her, but they did share an amazing kiss. Fast forward to she was like 20 something years old. She runs into the president again and he is getting ready to be engaged and marry somebody else. She is distraught. She leaves the party. She bumps into, which will be the president's best friend. She didn't know that at the time. Um, they have an amazing night together and they smash. Fast forward again to homegirl by Demna in her 30s. And she's a professor doing all the things. Out of nowhere, the vice president, mm -hmm, you heard what I said, comes talk to her and be like, hey, um, I know we had history. I know we had that one night stand. I get that. I know you mad at me. But I'm here, official business. The president wants to see you. And the president's like, yeah, my wife did, so what's up? <laughs> that is pretty much, I kid you not, that is pretty much how this book starts. It starts with... The man she fell in love with coming to hunt her down with the man she had a one night stand with. And in turn, they all start messing with each other. That is the book. That is the book. I promise you right now, it is so good. It is so spicy. It is full of just exploration. It's full of secrets. It's full of jealousy. Because you would think, and you know, some books that you read talk of these polyamorous couples as if they don't have jealousy. This one... Baby, they jealous and they mad about the fact they jealous because they like seeing their person with their best friend or he likes seeing her with him or she likes seeing her husband with his best friend, but she also jealous that she ain't in the mix at the same time. So it's it's a lot of feelings, it's a lot of emotions, it's a lot of secrets, and but the reason why I could not give this book five freaking stars is because Greer is going to get on your nerve. Greer is going to get on your nerve baby she ain't have no backbone and the, the next two books in this series she still ain't fine because that cousin of hers she should have dealt with that cousin a long time ago would have saved herself some headache in the future because it, it just pissed me off when she was tussling with her feelings and emotions about somebody to give two flying fucks about her because that cousin oh she shows her behind and she shows her behind real bad this book it does end on the cliffhanger so you will be wanting to jump into books two and three following this but i will say that cousin she add her to the list of fictional people you want to hit with a car. But other than that, it was a good time. So the last and final book that I read in the month of February is Darling Nikki by Kenya Gorbell. And truthfully, this book is a three star. Before we get into the review, make sure you always, 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 if you're reading anything by Kenya Gorbell, check triggers, check content warnings, check all the things you could possibly check before you open page one. Because it is chaotic. This book in particular is very much on the forbidden taboo side so make sure you have your pearls and everything together before you jump dead in to read this book other than that i can truly say that this is not my favorite installment in the series and you would think with me being a taboo dark romance girly i would love this one i did it i did it it just didn't do it for me i don't know i know they said this book is taboo and i know they said it was forbidden but i think i would add on that it's borderline bully romance so i'm let me let me just give you the backstory and then we can work our way forward. I wanted to like this book so bad because it has everything that I could possibly love in a book. It's marriage unconvenience. It's taboo. It's forbidden. It's age gap. 
it's in a racial relationship. It has some political aspects to it. It has everything. It has a black female main lead. And it's just like everything I could possibly want and need in a book, I would love. And I have glimpses of the characters from the previous books. The previous two books are in it. And it's just like, I, I wanted to love this book so bad, but I couldn't. The story starts off when Nikki is about 16. 17? Somewhere up in there. She, for some reason, is unhoused, need a place to stay, and she's walking. In come he who shall not be named, drunk driving or under the influence in some form of way, he ends up hitting her. Come to find out, he can't take this hit because he's from a political family, and you know how political people do. They'll do anything to hush you up. He gets her something to eat. They start chit-chatting. He realized she needs a place to stay. He has this big old estate. And he's just like, oh, you can stay with me. Because, listen, it's a big old estate. Nobody will ever really know you're here. Get you enrolled in school. All the things. I'm going to be off in college doing my own thing anyway. But I'll still come and check in on you. Whatever. So, during that time, they build this beautiful platonic relationship. They become the best of friends. Fast forward. Nikki is getting ready to graduate from college, they're at the graduation ceremony, and something within he who shall not be named, it just changes. He looks at her, he was like, nah, she's mine. But mind you, old dude is getting ready to marry a whole nother girl. So it's just like, whatever. Something happens, which I can't remember. I read this book so long ago, and I should have been taking better notes. Anyway, something happens, and it turns out that people are getting ready to find out that she was living with him underage. And it's just like, Wait a minute, sir. This this is giving very much inappropriate behavior. So, in order for him not to get in trouble or have his political campaign or whatever, because I think he's running for Congress. I don't know. He who shall not be named. I do not remember this man. I want to control or delete him from this book. I did not like him. But anyway, in order for him to save whatever office he was running for, he had to dump the girl he was with and end up marrying her. To kind of do this whole marriage of convenience. Be like, oh, you know, we had this beautiful platonic relationship. But, you know, as soon as she graduated, I fell in love. Literally, that's exactly how it felt. But that's how they turned it. And the story went from there. I will say this. The spice is good. I will say... The, the side characters were great. Nikki, amazing. Him, throw him away. He is the reason why I did not like this book. Because the way he dogged her out, the way he kept talking to her cash crazy, as if that whole miscommunication, when it all came out, he looked stupid. Because, like, the way he talked to her, the way he demeaned her, the way he just was so nasty towards her, and it's supposed to be his best friend, he couldn't see past the betrayal and, like, literally listen to her and, like, put thought and logic into what happened. He would really sit back and realize, like, wait, none of this made sense. And it just got to a point where she was fed up and just let him believe whatever. And I was like, you stupid for letting him talk to you like that. Like, it just it just messed with my soul. It messed with my spirit. So, I didn't like this book. And trust me, Kenya already know. I was yelling and screaming, throwing up, sliding down the wall in the worst way possible over this book. But it's okay. It's okay. And I think this is the reason why I had to pause this series because of this book. And I wish I would have skipped it because the next book, he might be my favorite. But I had to pause. So, I might pick it up. In the upcoming months. But we'll see. Hello Nikki by Kenya Girl Bell. That is a three star. I didn't like it. Maybe my explanation made you want to pick it up. I hope it do. Because if it do and you loved it. Please come back and tell me what you loved about it. So I can go back and compare notes. Maybe I missed something in translation. Maybe I didn't read something right. But baby I didn't like it. So that is it for the books that I read in February. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like to see more craziness by me of these wrap ups, my vlogs, whatever I decide to talk about on this YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.